Hey, what's up everyone? I'm Mike from woodshopmike.com and today we're going to be taking a look at a handful of tools and storage solutions from Husky brought to you by my good friends at Home Depot as part of the Husky Always On program. All right, y'all, the first item that I'm going to show you is this 72 inch adjustable height work table. Now the total range of height adjustment in this work table is about 13 inches. And depending on whether you have the locking casters or adjustable leveler feet installed, the overall height range is anywhere from 26 inches to the floor to 42 inches to the floor. So that's a huge range and it allows you a ton of options of types of projects you can do at this work table. And with the one and a quarter inch solid woodwork surface, it's going to be plenty durable to serve you for years to come. Now let me show you how easy it is to adjust the height on this. By simply turning this knob, you can adjust the height. All right, so let's move on to the next item. Okay, the next item that I'm going to show you is the 144 tooth ratchet set. So here you have half inch, three eighths, and quarter inch ratchets. These have a low profile head design, a flush release button, and then the uh, toggle switch to change your direction is also flush mounted. So that way when you're reaching into small tight spaces, this reversing lever isn't going to get snagged on anything. So as I mentioned earlier, this has 144 teeth in the ratcheting mechanism. So that's a two and a half degree arc swing from one ratchet to the next. That means that you can tighten down bolts and nuts in super, super tight and confined spaces. Check out this footage of me installing a winch on my trailer using these new ratchets. Now I wanna tell you about the 3 8 drive deep socket impact set in SAE and metric. So obviously these sockets will work with the ratchet set that I just showed you, but what's great is that they include a set of adapters to make these sockets work with your cordless impact driver. Excellent. Now you may be thinking thin wall sockets and an impact driver, that doesn't sound like a good idea, but these are actually impact rated sockets that are intended to be used with your impact driver. They're also 100% black oxide coated for rust prevention. Okay, the next item that I'm going to show you is the Husky Dual Direction Socket Extractor Set. This is a five piece set and what's different about these sockets is you'll see that the mouth of them looks a little bit different. And this is designed particularly for rusted or galled bolts uh, that won't fit very well in a standard socket. These are also tapered to allow the insertion and extraction of those fasteners to be a lot easier. So in terms of using the socket, it has the standard square drive that you would expect with any socket. The set also includes these adapters so that you can use the socket with your impact driver. Now what you'll notice is that the back of the socket especially is different. It has wrench flats on it. So when you get into really tight situations, you can use a wrench to get your fastener loose. Okay, now I'm gonna tell you about this 12 ounce titanium framing hammer with a 16 inch hickory handle. First off, this thing feels great in the hand. It's very well balanced. And did you know that titanium actually has 10% greater dampening than similar steel hammers? I didn't know that. But what I will tell you is that I've really enjoyed using this hammer. I've been building a handful of chicken coops and this titanium hammer has definitely gotten a workout. The biggest thing that I like about it is the magnetic starter. So that allows you to take a full swing to set a nail, no more having to hold the nail and tap it into place before you really get started hammering. So let me just show you this magnetic nail starter in action. Also the waffle texture on the face of the hammer gives you a really good grip on a nail head and keeps you from slipping off of that nail. Now I'm going to tell you about these 20 gallon waterproof storage containers with a hinged lid. These have been invaluable over the last several weeks. I ended up taking a chicken coop all the way to Texas, which is about an 11 hour drive. I ended up loading these down with all my paint supplies, a handful of power tools and extra fasteners. These are rated for up to 500 pounds. So you can definitely shove a ton of gear in these. And what's great is that with the gasket on the underside of the lid, it will keep the contents dry from rain and it'll also keep any dust, sand, or whatever else uh, out from the inside of this tote. So let me just show you a couple of features of this tote real quick. Uh, first off, the lids register into place very, very easily. And then you have two very secure locking handles here on the side so that you can pick up the tote with sheer grip. Uh, there are a total of six locking points. Now, if you want to use that hinged lid feature, you just 
drop down four of the tabs and then rotate the lid back. Uh, so this is super handy if it's raining on your job site. I just pop the lid open real quick, grab what you need, and then close it back down. The other thing is that they stack very well and when they're empty and you just need to store them, they store well also. So let me show you that. So I have another tote here. As you can see, they lock in place really well. And then when you need to store it, you just take your lid off and they nest down really well to consolidate space. Now you can set your extra lids on top. They actually stay in place pretty well. Uh, one thing that I do is I'll just open them all up and then set the lids like this for storage. So the tote itself is actually made of very durable polypropylene and then the lids are made of impact resistant polycarbonate. So uh, these are definitely strong. I have stood on these, I've jumped on these and uh, actually let's just, we'll go ahead and do that real quick and uh, I'm just gonna stand on top of there. You can see that, yeah, obviously the lid is flexing, but it's not offering to crack at all. So here we have the 22 inch connect rolling system. Here on top you have a small parts organizer with 12 removable bins. In the middle is pretty much a standard toolbox with one removable tray and then the bottom is one large box that you can stuff all kinds of things in. So let me show you how I use this a little bit. So I've only had this system for a couple of weeks now and I've taken it on one install and I've actually already unpacked most of the things. But uh, some of the items that are always going to stay in here are a tape measure, a handful of screws that I commonly use, earplugs because let's be honest, I'm always forgetting my earplugs, uh, a plumb bob and a couple of drill bits. Now what's great is, like I said, these are removable. So if you don't wanna take the entire organizer over to where you need the screws, just take the tray out take the screws where you need them, and then come back and put them away. Now, you'll see that the underside of this lid follows the same pattern as the arrangement of these trays. Now, let me show you what that does for you. Let's say, oh man, I just dropped my organizer. I bet my screws are all over the place. Well, you'd be wrong, because since this is divided, it keeps those screws in those trays and keeps all of your parts nice and organized. Now, let's take a look at the toolbox next. Oh, like I mentioned, this is modular, so what that means is that you can rearrange these to fit however you need to work. So if you always need to get into the toolbox and not so much that small parts organizer, you can put the toolbox on top. So you have a handle here on top of the toolbox so that you can carry it around away from this base unit. And like I said, you have one removable tray in here, and then the bottom of the toolbox is open. So you can put hammers, screwdrivers, drills, whatever you might need there in the bottom of your toolbox. I did a handful of installs recently where I needed to do a lot of rigging and not all of my straps got put back in the right spot, but what's great is this is big enough that you can house some of these large heavy duty ratchet straps. I've got a five pound thing of screws in here along with a bunch of other miscellaneous items. So this bottom box is just super versatile. You can throw saw saw, circular saw, any kind of tool or just about any kind of tool here in the bottom and uh, it's, it's gonna hold it really well. So as you see, we have a handle here on the back of the unit with a push of the button, the handle telescopes, push that same button, it comes right back down. I showed you three of the base units for the system, but what's great is that Husky actually has other options that will interconnect with this unit. Okay, so now I'm gonna tell you about both of these tool chests. And before I break down what makes them unique from one another, first let's talk about what the common features are between these two Husky tool chests. The first thing is that they both have a fully welded steel construction with a durable powder coat finish. All of the drawers have 120 pound rated full extension drawer glides that are also soft closed. The narrower drawers up top just have a single set of slides, but all of the bottom drawers, along with this large left-hand side drawer, have two sets of drawer glides, so they'll support up to 240 pounds. Each of these tool chests has six five-inch casters. Uh, four of those casters on each unit are locking, and the weight rating for each one of these units is 2,500 pounds. That is just crazy. Another feature of these tool chests is that all of the drawers have pre-cut drawer liners. So these will keep your tools from slipping around in the drawers you open and close or move the chest around your shop. Both of these chests come with a set of two keys. So that way when you're not around, you can make sure that your tools stay secure. Boom. 
Both of these tool chests have power strips built in with two USB ports and six standard outlets. That way you can keep everything from your mobile device charged to any corded tools that you need to use close to the tool chest. And if you don't need to use the power strip on these chests, they both have cord storage built in. And one last feature that both of these chests have is a large push bar so that way you can maneuver the tool chest through your space easily. This is the heavy duty 62 inch 14 drawer adjustable top tool chest. As the name implies, the top of this tool chest is also adjustable with a crank like the work table I showed you earlier. So check it out. So the top of this tool chest will go all the way from 38 inches to the ground to 48 inches to the ground. And what else is cool is that underneath the one inch solid wood work surface, there is actually storage here between the work surface and these first set of drawers where you could store items that you don't need to get to very frequently. So let's say that you don't need to adjust the height of this tool chest very frequently, or you just want this handle to be out of the way so you don't bump into it while you're walking around. What's great is that this handle is very easily removable, and it comes with this cap that you can plug the hole with when you're not using the crank. This is the heavy duty 63 inch 11 drawer flip top tool chest. Now how cool is that? Uh, each one of these sides is supported by a pair of gas struts so the top will stay up very securely while you're working. No worry about it flipping down while you're trying to grab something underneath the top work surface here. On the left hand side you have a pair of bins that you can take out and set wherever you need. I can see them being very convenient, especially if you're working on small engines or something like that, to just have a handful of screwdrivers or wrenches that you take with you. Now another thing that's really cool about this tool chest is that this large drawer here on the left hand side has a dedicated power outlet on the back. And what that means is that you can set up some battery chargers in here, there's a storage compartment for batteries, and there's even hanging storage for your drills. Now probably the most fun feature that they integrated on this tool chest is a bottle opener on the right hand side underneath the handle so that way after a long day's work you can crack open a soda, sit back and relax. So which one of these new products from Husky did you like the most? Make sure to tell me in the comments below. And hey guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Ah, you're still there. Awesome. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, I got another one queued up for you right here. And if you want other awesome content from me, check out those. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like and subscribe. And until next time, have fun making something.